In this video, we'll explore a solo podcast setup using the MixPre 3.2 in basic mode. Insert an SD card in the back of the MixPre. For this video, we'll power the MixPre with an L mount battery to keep everything mobile. I'll go to Menu, Project, and start a new audio project. I'll name this EP1 for Episode 1. To keep track of files, we recommend a new project for every episode. I'm using a Rode NT1A for the microphone plugged into channel 1. The NT1A requires phantom power, so I'll press the channel button and turn phantom power on. The low cut feature can help remove any low frequency background noise in the environment and can be toggled on in the channel screen. Returning to the home screen, I will use the channel 1 fader to make sure I have an optimal signal level. The optimal signal level will be a healthy green signal that only peaks occasionally in the yellow. While in basic mode, the limiters are always on and the default setting has been fine-tuned for dialogue. Limiters prevent loud signals from clipping. Limiter activity is displayed with orange ring LEDs and orange indicators on the right side of the meter. If the limiter is showing frequent activity, turn down the fader to reduce the level. In basic mode, only the LR mix is recorded. This is ideal for simple plug and play operation while focusing on your podcast. Any gain adjustments can be made quickly from the front panel. When I'm ready to start podcasting, I just press record. After recording, we can copy the files from the SD card or USB thumb drive to a computer. To transfer files without removing media, put the MixPre in file transfer mode. Attach a USB cable to the USB-C port on the MixPre and the other end to the appropriate USB connector on your computer. Then enter Menu, System, File Transfer. The MixPre appears as a storage device on your computer. Click the icon and move the files to your desired location. Once copying is complete, eject the MixPre SD card from your computer and exit the file transfer menu. From here, we can either do further post-processing or upload it directly to a podcast hosting site. The file is recorded as a stereo wave and will play back on any platform. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for another Sound Devices tutorial.